Introducing Android App Development. Hey everyone, this is Ben Finkel and in this nugget I just want to introduce our newest course Android App Development, talk a little bit about what the course is going to cover and what you'll need to know coming into the course so that you can get the most out of it. Just in case you are unfamiliar with Android, Android is a mobile focused operating system or OS that has been developed by Google. As a mobile focused operating system, Android is developed with a different emphasis or a different focus. So Android is intended from the ground up to be run on devices that are mobile, that you're going to carry around with you, your cell phone, your tablet. Uh, to a large extent these days you're even seeing it in IoT devices or embedded home devices such as your Nest system which runs the climate controls in your house or your alarm system. So what does that mean to be mobile focused? Well, it means that it's touch screen focused. The Android OS and the features in the Android OS are intended to be touched with your hands, with your fingers. You are not using a keyboard and mouse typically when you work with Android and that changes the way that the UI works. There is a big emphasis on things like gestures, tapping and pinching. Pinching is when you use two fingers to zoom in or, or zoom out on something on your phone. So these touch screen um, focused things are built right into the Android OS and consequently they're built into the development tools so it's easy to develop for this, um, for this paradigm, for this framework so that you can easily build applications that are intuitive to understand and easy to use on a mobile device. Now technically speaking Android OS is open source and it's based on the Linux kernel so it is at its heart running Linux. It is a distribution of Linux and Linux you may be familiar with is the open source operating system that has caught the world by storm over the past couple of decades. Android was first commercially released in 2008 and as of June 2017 it's on version 7 which is also called Nougat. Now Android is on uh, roughly 2 billion devices worldwide, so when we say that Android is popular, we mean that it is super popular. Android is found on more devices around the world than any other single operating system. That includes Macintosh, Windows, Linux, iOS, any other operating system you can imagine or think of. Yeah, Android beats them. Android is widely used because it is so cheap and easy, and frankly because it's uh, such a powerful operating system to begin with. Now when you're developing for Android, you are going to use the Java programming language. If you're not familiar with Java, I recommend you turn around and check out my Introduction to Java course. It's going to be required to develop on Android. Java is an object-oriented language that is platform independent. It's byte code based. And the interesting thing about Java is that you write code in Java once and it can be run on multiple different platforms. And this includes the Android platform. So a lot of the Java interpretation is going to happen right on your Android device and this is great because that means you can develop one base set of source code for your Android app and be comfortable that it's going to run on a wide variety of Android devices that are found out in the wild. In order to have success with this course you only need a couple of things. One, like I just mentioned, you will need an introductory knowledge of Java programming. If you don't know how to write Java, well you're not going to be able to write an application for Android unfortunately. Thankfully, all of the Java that you need to know is covered in a course by yours truly at CBT Nuggets, the Introduction to Java Programming course. If you've gone through that course, or if you're at least familiar with all the topics in that course, that covers every Java feature and every Java function that you'll need in this course in order to develop an Android app. Secondly, you'll need a computer with an internet connection and a web browser. Using our virtual lab environment, which I cover in the early Nuggets, you can do all of your Java development inside of our virtual lab environment. Now alternatively, and I would really recommend this if you plan to uh, get into Android app development, you can download the Android app development tools right on your local desktop and you can follow along in your local environment. That's going to unlock some different features and functionality in terms of Android um, device emulation that you may want to take advantage of. But, and this is really, really important, none of that is required. As long as you have an internet connection and a web browser, you can log in and follow along and learn everything that we do here inside of our virtual lab environment. And that's it. I hope you're ready to get started learning how to write an Android app and you can get started writing your own Android app that is going to change the world and be the next number one seller on the Play Store. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.